If you want to get new clients, but you're not sure how to do that, then you stumbled across a pretty good video. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to find new clients, how to outreach to them, and the best meeting strategies to use. Now, within all three of my businesses, I use this exact same method, and it's what's enabled us to grow and scale our business to employing a team of people, having a studio, and working for global clients all over the world in some pretty awesome places too. Now, if you are new around here, then my name is Ross Welch, and I've made it my mission to give more away for free than most people would have you pay for, which is why I created this YouTube channel so I can create a community of like-minded people who are passionate about growing their businesses, perhaps they want to start or scale a business, or they're already established and are just looking for that next bit of information that can really transform and have a positive impact on their business. If that sounds like something you wanna be a part of, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment below because I reply to absolutely everyone, so it'd be great to get your thoughts on what you think about this video, any additions that you would like to see us create videos on, and just say hi. Now this only applies to people who are serious about growing their business and taking their businesses to the next level. If that sounds like you, then make sure you take a look at my free training where I'm gonna provide loads and loads of valuable information about how to sign people onto retainer systems, which will create a predictable and consistent cash flow for your business. Because if you don't have those two things, then it makes it really hard to grow your business because you can't employ someone if you don't know how much money you've got coming in, or you can't buy the latest camera gear if you don't know how much money you've got coming in or even where your next job is coming from. So click the link, register for that event, it's completely free and I will share with you some top strategies there too that I've used and I've taught hundreds of students the same thing who are having huge successes. Now, let's get right into this. So where do you start? When you're sitting there and you're thinking, I need more work or I want to grow my business or perhaps I even want to just start my business in the first place, what should you do? You need to outreach. Now I've spoken about outreach a lot in different videos and it basically just means approaching people that have potentially never heard of you and saying, hey, I do this, are you interested in my services, yes or no? You want to spark up a conversation with them, but here's one really key piece of advice that you need to remember. You don't want to bombard them with a sales script on your very first email or your direct message. Instagrams are still a great place to outreach to people on. Also is email, so they're two platforms that you definitely want to focus on right now. But don't sell your whole services, you know? You wouldn't walk up to someone in the street and say, hi, I'm Perspective Studios and I do this and I do that and I do this, that and the other and do you want to buy from me, yes or no? That just wouldn't happen. What's that, what's that person gonna say to you? They're gonna say no, or even worse, they're gonna tell you to go somewhere else, right? So what you need to do is you need to warm them up and come across in a very human way. Remember that yes, you're outreaching to a business, but when you send that email, that direct message, there's another human at the other end of that that needs to pick it up. So keep it simple and just say, hey, you know, I've come across your page because we're looking to grow our client portfolio or we want to work with you or, you know, we've done similar work in the same industry and we really think that we can help you and add some value. Would you be interested in having a meeting or, you know, I'd like to find out more about you. Are you free for a quick chat? Anything like that you're gonna get a lot of no's. Outreach is a numbers game. And for the people who reply to you and say no, you need to see that as a really good thing. Because you can say, thank you for not wasting my time. Thank you for not stringing me along and making me chase you up and up and up again. And if you're saying no, no worries. I'll drop you an email in six months time and see if anything has changed. For the people that say yes, result, we're getting some paid work already. And the people who don't reply, they, that's the most painful thing because you need to chase them up. I see a lot of people fail because they don't chase up people after they've emailed them. And it's like me to saying this, over the other, other side of the room, there's a person standing there and you say, you whisper, you say, hey, would you like some video content? And he's standing over the other side of the room being like, did someone just say something? And then you walking out the door. That's what sending an email is and not chasing up. That's exactly what the scenario is like. Instead, you need to be heard, you need to speak louder, you need to say, hey, do you want some video production work? Do you wanna work with me? And the other, hey, nice to meet you. We're not doing it obviously in an aggressive way, <laughs> but I've absolutely lost it here. Um, but that's exactly what we need to do. We need to keep chasing up the people who don't reply to you because they might say yes. We had one client in particular, and I can say the word client because they did decide to work with us, um, who we must have chased them over a period of maybe six months to almost a year before they then said, yeah, actually we're in a good position to do some videos now. Um, 
and it was so strange because they had never replied to any one of our emails. We would just drop them the occasional message saying, hey, look, we've updated our website. I thought you might be interested to take a look or, you know, oh, hey, I've just done some similar work for, you know, this kind of competitor. You know, I think that we can do some same stuff for you or what have you. And they didn't reply to any of those things until like six months or a year later. Uh, they said, hey, we want some video production work. Can you do that? And we were going, finally. So it just goes to show, make sure you're chasing up people as well. And if people say no, that's fine. That's great. But it's a numbers game you need to be doing a huge amount of numbers on outreach to have the best chance of success and if you're sitting there with five clients at the moment then you only need literally two or three more and you've you know, almost doubled the amount of clients that you had beforehand when you sit in our position when you've got 30 or 40 different clients then you know five clients doesn't have a huge impact but you need a lot of numbers to make that kind of change to your business. Although we value every single client that we get, every time we sign someone up to, especially to a retainer system, we know it's a win-win. We know that they benefit and we obviously benefit by having a consistent cash flow too. So it's great and that feeling never goes away from getting your first client to it does get in your 40th, 50th, whatever client. It gets the same feeling every time. But for those of you who are just starting out, you're gonna notice a huge change in your business by using some of these methods. So so firstly, you want to outreach them, send them an email or send them a direct message, and you don't want to give them a sales pitch. You don't want to pitch all your best ideas. You simply want to set a meeting with them. Just say, hey, you know, we're looking to add one or two people to our client base at the moment in time. Would you be interested in having a 10 or 15 minute chat? I think that here's some areas that we can help you with, and it would be really good to you know, talk through what, if, whether or not you're the right fit for our business even. You want to set a meeting. Never give them a price. If they're asking you for a price over email, just say, look, all of our work is bespoke. We need to have a 10 or 15 minute chat with you to understand what you're actually looking for because apples and apples are the same, aren't they? Well, not necessarily. Sometimes you might have a moldy apple. Is that worth more or less than a fresh, new, juicy apple or sweet apple? What I'm basically saying is the client thinks that they might just want a video, but we all know that actually there's lots of different types of videos and the cost varies with those. And you might say to them, okay, yeah, a video is going to be £1,500 or $1,500. And they might go, oh, wow, that's too much. But they don't know what they're getting for that price, which is why you should never give your price in before a meeting because otherwise you're going to just say, they're going to say no or it's going to make that sale process a lot harder. Now, when we talk about meeting strategies, I'm going to break this down into three key subjects. One, spend the first five to 10 minutes just talking to them, asking them questions. You need to find out where their business is now and where they're going. And then any problems or challenges that they're facing at the moment, why haven't they been able to get to where they want? Is that because they're lacking marketing or video structure or anything like that? And what they'll do is they will then provide you with the problems they're facing. And then in step number two is where you do the talking and you start to pitch your ideas and you take those problems and provide the solution. So you say, well, look, we provide video content. We provide regular video content packages, which are cheaper. So I know that you said one of your problems is your cash flow and your turnover at the moment. Well, these packages will work out cheaper for you. And if, like I've said before, if you want to check out that free training, I'll go into a lot more detail in that training about those uh, retainer packages and how you can create that consistent cash flow within your business. So make sure you do check that out as part of the Perspective Academy. But you can also take the other problems that they're facing. For instance, you know, um, we think our brand looks really basic and we want to get our name out there. We want some brand awareness. Well, that's great because we also offer social, social media um, marketing or ad campaign creation or our videos can help position, position your brand as a very high-end brand you know so you can start to pitch these things back to them take their problems give them the solutions and then all of a sudden if I can tell you you can get from A to B using our service how much do you think that's worth well hypothetically it's worth anything I, I can pay as much as I want because if you're gonna answer all of my problems and get me to where I want to which might be you know I want to make more money will you do that and if you've shown me that you can do that by providing those relevant solutions along with your track record then I'm happy to almost pay you anything because I'm gonna get to my goal as quickly as I can and then the third part of the meeting is simply about closing the deal you need to ask them so with everything I've outlined there, I think that these two things would work very well for your business. Are you happy for us to book in the date or are you happy for us to proceed on that basis? Or, you know, the price for that is this. Are you happy with that? And when you mention your price, don't say anything else. Just let them 
think about it and talk back to you because otherwise all you're doing is trying to justify why you cost so much and that's a big issue i've been guilty of this a lot of times when i was growing my business i would often say well, yeah, look, a video is a thousand pound, but you also get this and but, 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 but. And it just makes you seem like you're making up your numbers or you're discounting it before the client's even given their feedback. So it's really important that you say, for the services that we've spoken about, so the video production and the ad campaign and the marketing, we're gonna package that up at, at 1600 pound for you. How does that sound? And then just remain quiet. Let them be the next to talk. So they might say, okay, that sounds good. Or they might have an objection, which might be something like, um, well, actually, you know, that's not really what we had in mind. I don't think that fits in with our budget. You can say, okay, well, what was your budget? And if they say, well, our budget was um, about 1,300 pounds, you can say, well, okay, well, look, we're not too far away. We're at 1,600, you're at 1,300. So why don't we take this element out or maybe we'll work something out here or whatever and then you can bring it down to that because now you know what their budget is and then you can ask the question again would you be happy to proceed on that basis yep okay you're all good and that simple simple meeting strategy about discovering what they are having problems with finding out where they want their business to go to and then simply giving them the solutions to their problems. Video content is going to help you with all of these things. Photography is going to help you with all these things. Marketing is going to help you with all of these things. And then just asking them or handling any objections, give them the price, let them talk. And that's how we have such a good success rate on all of our clients because we find out, we spend the time listening to them and understanding them. We're not simply just waiting to be the next person to talk, we're listening to them, we're understanding their business as much as we can and then we're able to give them a fair package that's actually gonna give them solid results. So to recap, outreach on email and direct messages. Don't make it super salesy. Remember there's a human at the other end and definitely don't give your whole sales pitch. All you wanna do is set a meeting. Don't mention price before the meeting because you need to show what value you can offer. In the meeting, find out about them, find out where they're trying to go, what problems they're facing at the moment. Step number two, provide the solutions to those problems in the way of video content, photo content, creative content, whatever it is that you sell, find the solutions that will work for that business. Ask for the sale, handle any objections, get a date booked in, take the payment, onto your contracts and everything else and you are set to go. It sounds very simple, but that's because anyone can make something hard. Making it simple is really the hard thing. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, but also check out that free training. You've got nothing to lose. I think it lasts for around about an hour or so, something like that, and it's packed full of valuable information, loads of things where I go into detail. I actually show you the scripts I use for Instagram, so you'll have those. I talk specifically about ways that you can be more efficient and how to sign clients on recurring revenue streams, which means you've got a consistent cash flow. You've got people paying you a set amount every single month for your services. And in this free training, I break down exactly how to do that so you can implement that into your businesses too. I'll leave the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, smash the subscribe button. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I appreciate there's a lot to do there, but it should only take you a couple of seconds and it would be really appreciated by us here too. Until the next time, peace.